Let us understand how SH interpreter works. I'm going to create a new node. I'm going to make the interpreter SH as the default one. If I have made the interpreter as the default one, I don't need to mention what interpreter I want to mention. I can mention PWD. Shift enter will execute this command. That's going to get me the present working directory. It's going to list the present working directory as the location where I have installed the Zeppelin. That is the Zeppelin home would be the present working directory. I can check what are all the files available. Yes, would list all the files available within the present working directory. I can use other commands like tail and then the file name. That will give me the last content available within that specific system. So I can use any shell command that I am going to execute. I can execute over here. I can even use the grep statement. I can get into the grep the HTTP from the license file. So it's going to grep all the lines having the text HTTP from the license file. So this is a quick example what are all the commands or what sh interpreter is. So basically anything that I can execute within the shell, I can execute over here as well. And within this particular system, I have the other file systems accessible. For example, I have HDFS configured. So the HDFS command works over here as well. The same way Java command works over here. So I can execute the same command over here as well. You can say HDFS. So it's going to execute the HDFS command as a shell command within the system. In case if HDFS is not configured, it's going to give error message. Since I have made the shell SH as the default interpreter, I don't need to mention explicitly I want to invoke the SH interpreter. This is not required. Even if I mention, there is no harm. 